guys, welcome back to my channel. I got a lot of updates for you today. Today is Saturday. Saturday here, we really try to work on our house, work on our homestead, do some projects. We kind of keep a list on our phones all week of what needs to be done on Saturday when we all pull together, work together, hopefully, when we don't have something going on. It really does make a difference. Uh, big thanks to June's Journey for sponsoring today's video. I have a lot of updates for you. Did I say that yet? A lot of updates. So much going on here I haven't told you about. And um, I want to show you today as we're going through cleaning up our house. Hopefully it will give you some motivation if you got some stuff to get done. For instance, last week um, there were a lot of car items. A couple of cars needed to be cleaned out. You know how kids just bring their junk in and don't take it back out. <laughs> we had a... Uh, Cars cleaned out, cars washed, a couple of the girls tackled that. We picked up a bunch of trash that would have, the wind had blown around our property. We did all that kind of stuff. We have to do that particular job, the trash job, again, this week because it's been so windy and we've been collecting boxes and we haven't been able to burn them because it's been too windy, all these things. Anyway, we have a nice long list that we are gonna tackle, but the one thing I like about having a whole list of things that need to be done is that the kids can all see them and they can kind of pick the ones that they like to do and then they know when they're done with their jobs that they're done which is always a big motivation it's a big motivation for me too but my list is a little too long this morning it's almost 10 o'clock I got breakfast going I kept cleaning the kitchen cleaning the kitchen which is never ending and I was making up bagels from dough I made last night and I need to get myself ready because I'm not really getting much done here um, even my bathroom is full of clean clothes that need to be hung and I <laughs> Every room in my house needs help, and my biggest job is to take care of the inside of the house, but I will have kids help me. Anyway, lots to be done. We have a big group of people coming tomorrow, always. i got to start moving. <laughs> Let me give them some makeup on, and I'll get back to you. That's my motivation, by the way. When I get, like, dressed in real clothes, well, I'll probably keep it comfortable, but I, I just, like fix myself up it makes me feel like my day has started even if it's only almost 10. Are you wrapping up in my uh, doorway curtain? <laughs> uh, first time we've been sick all winter but we got some a couple gnarly colds and little ones. That definitely slows us down because of course we're not sleeping well. <sighs> Let me get a homestead podcast going in my ear that'll motivate me all right I got myself ready um, the kids haven't even gotten ready they're just watching Little House on the Prairie my hair by the way is way too long I need to cut it uh, let me show you what we're dealing with here this is just like everyday mess sometimes I think right, man I don't know why our house gets so messy but we did downsize to like a third of the size of our other house and the area I'm going to show you is literally where five our, our youngest five and my husband and I sleep and it's not very much space for seven people so that's probably and it's the youngest five who you know you got to really motivate them to keep up on their own stuff so I'm always like what can I get rid of because it is not staying clean enough we've got some daily mess in the bathroom I don't know why one of my kids keeps leaving toilet paper and toilet paper rolls on the floor every day uh, just a little daily mess in here. I got some clothes to put away. Here's where a bunch of children sleep too. We need to clean up. Just It was all clean last night. You probably won't believe that. Nessa, what do you think? It's just the daily mess. And then some daily mess in here. I'm going to go through this upstairs area. I'm going to set a timer. We'll clean it all up. I will call the kids to do their part, their stuff. And I'll have them get dressed too. And then they'll probably throw a vacuum around behind me one of them noel probably but um i in that time will spend after i pick up i will spend my time cleaning these bathrooms see if i can get it's like a double bathroom situation bathroom see if i can get that all done in an hour <laughs> we'll see actually when it is smaller space it is quicker to clean i will say that there's a big benefit there <laughs> you're not gonna see me do uh you're not gonna watch me clean in a time lapse i am not that person we all have our strengths i'd rather just talk to you and show you what happened and talk to you again <laughs> because I feel like I'm talking to friends and once I put that camera on that's just showing me work it feels like a show and I do not like it it's just not my thing wow little house is loud Desi come on up Seth come on up let's go hope upstairs Noel upstairs peace let's go all right we did it guys one minute to spare the alarm's about to go off I do have an apple in my hand that peace brought up <laughs> I've got to take downstairs but it is looking much, much better in here, all cleaned up. And then everything's 
shiny, not just picked up, but it's shining. We've got a cleaned up bedroom. There was a stuffed animal that the dog must have chewed up, so lots of little beads everywhere. This room took forever to vacuum up. And Noelle's trying to clear off her dresser there because we need to put an egg incubator there. I think this is the warmest room in the house. And we're gonna be incubating some eggs soon, and I'm not sure where else to put it. So she's just gonna put her stuff away for about 21 days there, and then my room's looking nice and good. The only thing, I have the vacuum here still because I have not vacuum the stairs and we have a huge laundry pile we threw down that I gotta deal with down there. Hey, but listen, we're making some good progress. Doesn't my room look nice? Solo still has a, that to hang for me over the bed and a couple of pictures. Oh, I think he's gonna hang that mirror too. But it's looking good. Perfect timing. All right, the next big update is that Luca's home from Japan. He came home like a day ago. You Were you up all night? No. When, when did you sleep last night? <laughs> that Japan jet lag is like no other. When did you sleep? Like from six to one or something. Six to one a.m. Six p.m. to one a.m. That is awful. Anyway, we're so glad to have him back. The kids were super excited. Okay, we're out here for the next project. I'm taking this back. <laughs> Pull up. What? We're not bringing more into our house, man. <laughs> what is that, Katan? Yes. Ah, we have thrown too much in here. Over the winter, <laughs> we've cleaned this thing out several times. Way too, Way too much. So bikes can stay, but you guys need to get rid of oh whatever you can. Where did those shelves go? Oh, there, those shelves that we brought in here the other day. Can you guys spend an hour just moving everything you can into the semi? You're gonna spend an hour moving everything you can into the semi, okay? I'm gonna set a timer because I'm gonna do the main floor in an hour, and then with Tori and Noel and then I'll come out here and check on you. Luca, you can set a timer. Okay, so let's see what you can get rid of so that we can park things in here easier, like lawn things. Okay, I'll be out. See that Christmas tree bag? That can go out, those shelves that we pulled out from upstairs. Okay, I'll be Bells boxes. and I'll move everything into where it's supposed to be. I'll be waiting, bye. What? Okay, he's going to the semi side. Okay, so Eli's gonna have this side of the project. Oh, you could just do one door. One door is fine. We have this pretty full of our stuff. Um, our builder gave us this sofa, and it has been such a lifesaver. We thought we didn't need it. We thought we could put everything in our shed, but turns out it was very impractical. So this thing is on its last leg. If that ceiling doesn't come through before we're done, it will be a miracle. But we have it plenty full of stuff. Yeah, a lot of stuff. And it's stuff. gonna get fuller today. When we're done needing this, it would be fun to find something to use it. Maybe reinforce the ceiling. Does we got fishing? Paint it. <laughs> I don't know. It does sit up pretty high, so it can't be like an animal pen. I don't know, unless you take the feet off. I think one hour of solid work with these three will do a lot. I am definitely trying to be a lot better about resting. Like, um, some days I just crash and I find myself with very, very little motivation. Not sure what it is, but I do notice that when I have normal days, like today, where I just have a lot of energy the whole day, if I don't stop and rest, then I'm more likely to have one of those crash and burn days. So I'm trying to always be better about resting some. And even if it's all, you hear it's wild around me. My bed is in the middle of the house, but I'll just lay down for a little bit. Sometimes I'll put an earbud in and listen to something, but I do love to play on my phone a little. That It does help relax me, help me stop thinking about all the things I have to do. <laughs> one of my favorite games to play right now is June's Journey. I really am enjoying this. I've told you guys about it before a couple times because I really love them. It's a murder mystery, but it's really lighthearted. It's not like um, heavy. It's kind of just like solving the mystery. I love the game Clue, and it's kind of like that, and you're looking, searching for clues. I also really like puzzles, and it kind of brings all of those together, Sol solving a mystery, searching for items and putting together the puzzle pieces basically. You get to decorate a mansion in your garden island and just solve the mysteries you go through while having fun. I think it's a great way to relax and even just get some downtime even when you have chaos around you. <laughs> just to check into something else for a little bit, it helps. You guys can download this game for free by clicking on the QR code or in the link in my description box below. It's available for Android, iOS mobile devices and you can even get it on your PC through Facebook memes. Next up, it's really nice out. Noelle's gonna watch the kids out here, keep them occupied, 
and Tori and I are gonna do the main floor while the boys are working out there. So the timer's going on for an hour in here too. I don't know if I'll if we'll get it done. The floor really needs to be washed, so Tori, her zone normally is sweeping, so she's gonna sweep and mop all the wood floor in this main level. And I am going to do everything else. So here's what we're working with. I did clean this a lot this morning. Okay, we got some dried dishes. We got some bagels rising that need to be boiled. I'm not gonna worry about these yet. I'm gonna let them rise in this next hour. A canner, some broth I canned, some breakfast left out, some things that need to go to our storage in the garage. And then, of course, the laundry mountain. And there's a bathroom on this level that needs to be clean as well. Oh boy, this is just everyday mess, most of it. We could probably put away a lot of these coats. That'd be helpful. Make it look just look neater, and I'd love to clean out the bottom of that pantry. Another update is we have a new incubator, and we're gonna try to hatch our own chicken eggs. We have lost a lot of chickens lately. And I do mean a lot. Like in the last several months, we've lost nearly half our flock. We started with 39 and we have 25. Ah, it's, it's rough. We've had coyotes. The other day we saw two coyotes. One, uh, Solo thought it was a fox because it was right um, down here, 7.30 in the morning. The sun was up and he saw chickens running. So he went out and looked and sure enough, like right under our house was what he thought was a fox. And then he looked out and saw a big coyote running with a chicken in its mouth. He went hunting him for a while, but didn't find him. And the little one went after him. So it was just a smaller coyote here. The little one didn't get anything, but we did lose two that day. So there was probably another coyote we didn't see. They travel in packs. Gable, our livestock guardian dog, did not notice. <laughs> that was frustrating. He was out here on the deck. The coyote was back here on this side of the house. He didn't even bark. He's still young, I guess. He was born August 1st. So he's He's young, and I do know when coyotes are a problem, I've read that um, it's better to have several livestock guardian dogs because coyotes move in packs and they're just more effective. And then some dogs will just go play with the coyotes. A farmer that we work with, he was over here the other day and he told us he lost a baby calf to a coyote and that they're really, really bad this year. So that made me feel a little better, um, but I'll show you what we've done since that since we've realized how many, we were having trouble counting them because our chickens free range everywhere. And so we hadn't gotten a count for a while. And then that's when we realized, okay, we're losing a lot. And now we have a different setup for them to help protect them up against the coyotes. And unfortunately they're not as free as they used to be, but we've tried to give them as much space as we could. So I'll show you that in a little bit. I need to get going. My hour is starting <laughs> but we ran our dishwasher last night because we tried to run it once in a while and it had been i think a month and a half or more since we'd run it we just happened to notice that i noticed especially that the kitchen just stays cleaner when we are not using the dishwasher i think if we had two dishwashers it would honestly be easier but uh, there's just always dishes waiting for the dishwasher and we're having to wash so much anyways and so uh, we've just been washing by hand i know it uses more water everybody tells me that literally every single time I talk about it, but for this season right now, it's just working better to not use it. However, to keep it from smelling, we do have to use it once in a while, keep those pipes going. So I gotta empty that too. I think I'm gonna start here so she can clean the floor really well. We have some jars that we don't need to store here. Our hats and gloves are in here too, which we could probably put away for now. And um, I'm just gonna move some of this up and if I do it first, then she can clean that floor real well. It gets bad quick at the bottom of our pantry if we don't keep it cleaned out often. I do love all hands on deck and the little ones helping, but on day-to-day -day basis, but sometimes you just want to do it without them. Except like the bigger ones obviously are super helpful, but for the younger ones, when they come in, I just gave them two options. They can play outside or they can play in the garage where we have a big playroom. And if they choose to come in, they can help me and I will find a job for them. And of course they're choosing to stay outside <laughs> or in the garage. All right, I cleaned out that, pulled everything out, wiped the floor really well. We made it a little more functional than before. I think it's not anything perfect or groundbreaking, but it's always good to clean stuff out. And I have another pile of stuff to put away or throw away. Wood flooring is no joke. Tori's doing a great job. I'm worried about our other house. It's a lot of wood floor. Probably um, the luxury vinyl stuff. Wow. The boys got done in half an hour. I haven't looked at it yet. Um, but they came in to help me, which is great. Oh, Mike and Luca are doing. That was a long time. 
It was not. It was 40 minutes. It felt like an hour. <laughs> it felt like an hour. It felt like more. And than they an said hour. they couldn't find anything else to move. So that's pretty awesome. I'm gonna go check that so soon. But Mike is gonna do the windows. Look, it's doing some jobs. All right, we finished. We went a little over time, and I could never have done it without the boys' help. Our, my windows are sparkly and shining. Okay. Anyway, everything looks good. Berkey's shining. Trash can shining. Some more trash that needs to go out. Counters are clean. Sink was shined. Small appliances cleaned. And now the conundrum of real life. We gotta get it all out to make lunch. <laughs> well, let me show you. Tori did an excellent job on the floor. Table looks so good. Uh, living room was vacuumed up. I just finished cleaning the bathroom. That's why I'm sweating. But this one I clean often, so it wasn't too bad. Oh, I forgot to put a bag back in there. Thought I walked back in. We got some laundry started. What are you guys making? A ramen yes. concoction? They're good at it. They do, what do you do? Peanut butter, soy sauce? Sriracha. Sesame oil. Sesame oil. Brown sugar, except we're out, so we're using regular sugar. Okay. Uh, all right, show. Seen our eggs? <laughs> yes, but show them how big the duck eggs are. Just hold them in your hand for reference. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh, what do you got in there? Well, Some wasabi. 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 wasabi? <laughs> Solo usually helps us on these days. Um, he, he usually tries to be around on Saturday, at least some of it, and work. But he was behind this week, and he's leaving town this next week. So he really felt like he couldn't afford to be around here much today. I think he'll still come back, maybe around 3.30 or so. Whoa, what? What's happening? You guys like having it upside down? We're astronauts. Mine is dirt. Really? Oh, astronauts. Wow. All right, they've set up their whole own thing here. Are you guys going to clean up when you're done? Yeah, it's a train. Yeah, it's okay. a train. Yeah, we're in the train. But wow, we are going from spaceship to train. Okay, everybody got some good rest around here. Got some food, at least a little rest, you know? And um, then we had to clean up again. <laughs> I got this on. Real family life. I'm boiling some bagels because I realized I better get them done. We got 24 here. We love bagels for Sunday mornings and I haven't made them for months because I was, I didn't have a mixer for a while. It was broken. And I have one, I've had one now for a little while and I just haven't gotten back to bagels and they love them. So making 24 and I will freeze 12 of them right away for another Sunday. But 12 of them will be for tomorrow morning. And any leftover can be eaten after that. I just salt them usually. I need to make some cinnamon sugar toppings sometime. And these are like more than half um, whole wheat that was ground. More than half. Way more than the white wheat. And I've never done that with bagels before. So they do look a little funky. They're not quite as pretty. But I'm sure they'll be good. I've been making a lot of my bread with freshly ground. A lot of my sourdough, let me say. With freshly ground flour and it's been turned out really good better than I thought it would the big kids have already gone downstairs they're gonna start working on the basement that's the next area to tackle and we've got to get some gas cans filled up we need to collect trash around the property that's flown we need to burn boxes still so we have a lot to bake still but the kids are really excited they can smell them already they're like do we get to eat them for church tomorrow before church <laughs> time to find out what work the big ones did downstairs <laughs> I offered the little guys to watch a movie but they would rather play outside which is music to my ears always so what they fun. did it all look at that Eli's bringing a vacuum they're good oh I got to figure out a place to put all those jars I pulled out of the pantry the kids did really good down here Tori's finishing her room Luca's unpacking I have another bathroom to clean here but they picked it all up I sent Micah out he has one more job and then he can be done and that is he's filling the tires in Belle's car Eli is driving around the property and picking up trash because we've had the windiest week ever and trash just flies somehow around here probably because we have a big pile of boxes too that need to be burned I don't know if that'll happen yet today we still got a mountain to climb but it's only like Two. Luke is also going to go fill up gas cans. I am so happy to have one of my driving kids back home. I, I cannot even tell you. I really missed that. Nobody, everybody home was not yet driving. Except Micah with a permit. That doesn't count because I can't send him on errands. And my kids love doing errands. They love it. Okay, last one was done. Oh, that looks dangerous. 
They've done it a lot. It does kind of look dangerous. Oh my goodness! That looks really dangerous. <laughs> that tips. <laughs> oh brother. I heard Eli's doing his part. Oh, so you pumped the tires? Yeah. Are they looking good? Yeah. The only major thing we missed, or like obvious thing we missed in the house, is vacuuming the basement stairs. But the vacuum died, and I'm over it. Wait. I'm over the inside stuff. I want to get outside. Oh. Eli just reported back. He got a lot of trash out of the yard, so that's awesome. Good work, Eli. Yay. Whoa, those look real dark. <laughs> I think they look really dark because they're whole wheat, um, but I am gonna cook them a little, bake them a little less than normal. They're not hard or anything. They, they feel right, nice and soft. I'm big, building up a big pile for myself to fold later. I usually like to fold laundry right when it comes out. That's the best way, just fold it. If I can, put it away right away. But um, that doesn't work out very well for me on the weekends for some reason. So I'll be sitting down at the end of the day for that. Whew, it is too nice to be inside today. I, I'm glad I can be outside now for a while. I feel bad for Sol. I can't imagine having a desk job inside and he's got two of them. Gable, how's it going, Gable Price? How's it going? Hmm. Okay, let's see what work they did. They did leave the lawnmower out, which is not cool. Oh, it does look a lot better in here. I don't think it's been plugged in. <laughs> There's definitely room to get that lawnmower back in here. They could have done more, but I could see how they didn't know what else to do. Although I did tell them to do those things. <laughs> All right, do you want to bring that to the other side? To the other side? Yeah. Where? To the house. Yeah! Not in the house. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay, let's go, guys. We have a little to clean up in our yard, but the girls are going to help me with that. They've been on a break for a long time. <laughs> they made a teeter-totter at the edge of a hill. <laughs> We're going to show you what we did with the chickens and ducks and guineas. My house is a park. It is a park. The, um... The coyotes, like I said, they were attacking in broad daylight, like just right in front of our eyes. We were told that the population of them is really out of control right now. Oh, I thought Eli filled their bath. Anyway, we have some electric fencing that's actually meant for the cattle that we have. We have some chicken one too, but we're using it. Oh, don't touch the fence. I think it might be hot. Um, we're using the chicken one to block an area that Gable was escaping to the neighbors. It's not glass. Oh yeah, Plastic. that's trash. It's okay if the birds come in and out of it, even they can fit through some of these squares. Um, and they fly over it, we've never clipped their wings. They sleep in the tree, actually so many of them sleep in the tree. Oh yeah, sure, let's check for eggs. The, so many of them sleep in the trees, more than sleep in the coops at night, which keeps our coops nice and clean. Um, even when it's like 12 degrees out, they'll sleep in the coops. I mean the trees. But yeah, we just have been letting them kind of be in this area, which is not as fun. We open it for them during the day. Oops, a little trash down here too. Today, they've been kind of staying in here. So a lot of times, a lot of times they go over by the cattle. See how many are in the trees right now? Oh no! They love sleeping in the trees, and it does keep them safe. That's the thing about clipping their wings; they wouldn't be able to fly out, but. It also is another protection for them. And I love it when they're in the cattle area where we have, where our cows are because then they're, uh, they spread and work that manure too, which is good. What is that? An egg hole. It does look like egg. that. They do like to bury stuff or make holes for stuff. Whoa, that one's really deep. Yeah, I think they're just making little nests. We're gonna put an automatic drawer here too um but we closed that up we were closing that up when it was very cold but with the fencing up they were always closed up at night coyotes were not getting them at night they were always closed up and in the tree and they would stay in the tree all night every time we check we could see from our house with the big flashlight they're always in that tree they don't come down the coyote attacks were happening in the day i i hope those coyotes come over and get shocked luca's been hunting them since he got home because he's up a lot in the night but um at dusk and dawn especially he's been trying to hunt them no luck so far. Not only are we down a lot of chickens, but we're down two more guineas too. Somehow our ducks have managed to be to last, I think because they didn't have an automatic door. And so we wouldn't let them out till nine or 10 so that they would lay their eggs in their coop. And 
because of it, I think it kept them safe. I think the coyotes came mostly early morning or when we were gone. When we were gone, we tie up our dog. And we haven't been tying him up at night, but we've been, we were tying him up, we still, we tie him up when we're gone. We're just worried he might wander off the property. So if a coyote came while we were gone, and it's quiet here, they notice that stuff, you know? We make a lot of noise. Then um, Gable could have been barking at them and trying to deter them without any success because he's tied up. So, ah, it's hard to know. We are saving up our eggs for about three days and then we're gonna incubate them, which is really exciting. So be very careful, very gentle with the egg when you hold them. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so we're going to be very gentle with them because we, we don't want to shake them a lot. Or Yay. Oh, there's there's more there. What? There's two. There's what? one here. We also have balls in here just to remind them where they should be laying. <laughs> so how many do we have? Oh, yeah, it is. I like an egg, huh? Six today. And Eli got one this morning, but he cracked it accidentally, so we won't be saving that one. We are very certain that our eggs are all fertilized. If we want them to be to hatch, they will. Um, no, there won't be oh, there won't be eggs in there because that is the rooster pen. We've been giving them our lard that I burned. You Do guys they told me it? no, they don't. They're the boys. Uh, they have a big thing of food. We, they have water. We've been giving them lard even that was burnt. Uh, you guys told me to do that with my burnt lard, <laughs> and they like it. And they are just getting fat and. They're resting and being happy, and we're fattening them up. We had too many roosters. So the roosters were like chasing the hens everywhere and were very aggressive. Like 12 would attack one hen at a time, and so we realized we had way too many roosters, and now we know why people don't keep a lot of roosters around, so um, they're ready anyway. We knew that we would need to do something about them soon. We have dual purpose birds that are both meat and eggs, so these guys are gonna be meat and we just picked the ones that we could catch, <laughs> the 10. I think we have four more roosters out there. Uh, with So there's 15 out there all together, so 11 hens, four more roosters, which is probably still too many. Um, our eggs are definitely fertilized, guys. Let me just tell you, they are. <laughs> I was really hoping our hens would go broody and hatch chicks themselves, but so far they haven't. I'm not sure if it's typical with this breed of bird, um, but we just haven't seen it yet or if they're still kind of young. They're not quite a year old. I don't know, but we're, we need do we more. <laughs> we'll do it ourselves. These guys are hoping for a little corn treat. They were fully grass fed till they came here and we give them corn a little bit. Here and there. You guys want a treat? I heard Eli gave you field peas this morning. Hi big bull, how's it going? He's so sweet. If we have babies from him, which is the plan, I'll be really happy about it because his temperament is so good. He's very sweet for a bull. On days that we work hard all together, we really like to try to find some way to relax or play together at the end of the day. And so I got some ideas. I often run out of ideas. I'm often very tired to come up with ideas. What's your idea? <laughs> There's a movie I thought of we could rent. These are looking good. I was gonna can potatoes and make a dinner for tomorrow after church, quiche, but I don't know, I'm wearing down. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna happen. I know it's not gonna happen. I already put the canner away. I've never canned potatoes before and I found a recipe I wanna try and I'm too tired for new things now. The secret to toddler energy is good rest. See, we need to learn from them. <laughs> Wait, I made 32 bagels. That's awesome. I thought I made 24. I've already bagged up 12. Hmm. Okay, we're having an ice cream snack because we had leftover birthday ice cream. Thanks for having a birthday. Yum. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Another slight break, but I gotta make dinner. Boy, did you guys make sure Luca didn't fall asleep? Tori did. Yes. Okay. He That's says that he was is He's awake. Just sleep talking from bed. <laughs> It's so hard. I know I did it in December and it is so hard even though we stayed up all night the night before he came. It's rough. Um, I'm gonna make some sheet pan quesadillas for these kids. Solo was gonna be home by now but he's not. He's still working. You want a bagel? You know what? I made extra so yes. But wait maybe just half because we're gonna eat dinner. You don't want to eat dinner? Yeah. You just want to eat bagels? I don't blame you. This is my bread kid. He would survive on bread. Okay, let's put some cream cheese and try it. 
Oh my goodness, it's so good. We have some home canned beans, some corn out. Uh, the trays are full of butter and they're all hanging so they're half off. We can fold them on top. I had to end early because I gotta run someone somewhere. Luca fell asleep. He told me he was gonna stay up till nine tonight. <laughs> he fell asleep I think at four or four thirty. Oh no, she let the dog out. Oh go grab Nessa. Peace Nessa. Out. The dogs will chase us. I gotta take Mike to are you going to a play? What are we going to? Yeah, I'm going to a melodrama. A melodrama. He's going with Tessa, which is Belle's best friend. Tessa's being his stand-in sister today. She also likes dramas. Uh, theater like Belle and Micah and Tori does too, but they're driving to like another town. Anyway, I was hoping Solo would be home by now, but his work took way longer than he was planning, I think, today. We were going to show you the new site, but it will probably be dark by the time he gets home. Can you tell the vlog what the melodrama is about? Uh, no. Why? Because I don't know what it's about. Oh, you don't? No. I thought it was like about Moses or something. Uh, no, that's a different play. Oh, I can't keep them straight. Well, I at least made it back in time before dark to show you. And the winds calmed down, which is lovely. Solo and I like to come down here at night, at the end of the day, and just dream. Dream of space to spread out. Dream of privacy. <laughs> dream of an office so when he has to work all day like this he could do it from home it's just so exciting to see it laid out and how it's coming together since we last vlog there's some footings drawn and some string I don't know electric work has been done just behind the scenes stuff more that you wouldn't notice but those little things give us a lot of hope so many great things about the small house and the season but also it's nice to have hope. <laughs> the good view too, we're looking forward to that a lot. We love our view of the country. That house has more like a country view and this house will have a water view, which is so awesome. So we made it home finally. Final that day. was a day. Long day. I just took him down to the um, new build for a second oh, you did. and told him how we go down there and dream about having a home office <laughs> so that you could work I from home on a Saturday. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I'm gonna write that down. I'll Have you good, sign it? <laughs> yeah, right. Mm -hmm. uh, well, if we do, if we put, whoa, whoa, that was a balloon. If we put the um <laughs> the uh, office in the room, the music room that was gonna be the music room, it's gonna be soundproof, yeah, mostly. That's awesome. <laughs> you could actually make phone calls from home. That would be cool. Wow. Here's how dinner turned out. They could have left it in a little more probably, but um, they didn't know. They just did what they were told and it's so great. I guess they could put a piece in the toaster oven if they wanted it a little crispier, but yeah, it's really good. We eat it with some sour cream on top, little lettuce sometimes. So are you home in time? She's entertaining us. Are you home in time to give baths? Are you? Do you have the energy or strength? That's the only reason I came home. Oh, really? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good because I got a lot of laundry to fold. I got some bread dough to make. You can give oh, those you got, baths. Oh, you made some bagels. They look really good. Yeah, but I need to make dough for tomorrow. Pizza dough or bread. Mm. That looks good. I'll let you do baths. <laughs> I can try. All right, guys. We're going to bait some kids, make some more bread dough, fold some laundry. Since my big boys are gone for the evening, I think the ones that are left that are not small are going to bed. We'll get, we're gonna rent them a movie. There's a good new one out right now. And that will be kind of special for them. And they got ice cream today too. <laughs> Don't forget to check out June's Journey. Um, a great way to relax and get some rest in your life. I hope the next time we vlog, we'll have some big house changes to show you. So we'll see. 
Talk to you later, guys. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye.